hello everyone welcome to ui brains and this is Naveen. so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, how to declare a variable in javascript okay so here uh, now we'll see the concept is variable declarations what is variable declaration actually why we have to declare a variable okay uh, general question suppose if i say what is 10 plus 20 okay if i ask this question to any human being what he will say so 10 plus 20 is 30 correct so if you ask a human being this question so he can answer this 10 plus 20 is 30 right but what are we doing is we are writing a javascript program to make the system to do the calculation correct we have to do the i mean we have to make the browser to do the calculation if you want to do or you want to make a browser to do the calculations you have to write a program to make the system to understand what are you going to do it means uh, uh, in a programmatic concept if you want to make this you have to tell the system that you have to store 10 in one variable and 20 in one variable and after that you have to perform a addition between these two variables okay so how you declare a variables in javascript is let me uh, change it you can use a keyword called let so you can say let a is equal to let a is equal to 10 and let b is equal to 20 and you can write console.log same like the previous example console.log of a plus b okay so what happens here a values 10 b values 20 and it will display a plus b its results will be 30 so this is how you declare uh, one more thing is i think you might have seen uh, some javascript tutorial you may see a var keyword correct so var keyword actually es5 version okay it's quite old version of javascript but from es6 version es6 onwards there is no var keyword there is a let keyword okay because we are learning the advanced uh, i mean new new uh, versions of javascript from es6 onwards we are learning so i'm not writing var i'm writing let what is the difference between var and let we will discuss in future classes when the scopes concepts come to the javascript okay so at this time please remember we are learning es6 version of javascript in that we have to use a let keyword only fine so let me declare the variables in my program so before we do this we have to create a separate folder so what i do is here uh, i will just copy the same folder i just paste it in this and while pasting i will modify this folder name 02 underscore variable underscore declarations press enter and we don't need this this is it okay and index page i want to modify this this is variable declarations and here also variable declarations and i have connected to app.js this one it is empty so first of all before we write a program let me open this html on the browser let me go back to browser close it let me refresh my this is the live server url refresh okay you got variable declaration open that yeah you can find variable declaration so where you can see the output is right click inspect here click on a console window yeah it is from live server just leave it fine so setup ready now let's start with variable declaration so how to declare a variable is there is a keyword call let a is equal to 10 and then let b is equal to 20 okay next what i am doing let sum is equal to a plus b so what i'm doing is i'm assigning 10 to the a 20 to the b and a plus b the summation of a and b will be sum okay now what i'm doing console dot log of i want to see the sum value so sum so save it what happens in your console window you get the answer is 30 if you want to cross check I write 100 so what happen answer will be 120 if i make it 200 then answer will be 300 if i make it uh, 1000 so what happen 1200 okay so let's make it back to 1020 answer will be 
30. Fine. Sir, what exactly we write here? If you are new to programming, I tell you what is this concept is. Uh, here, the let I write uh, multi line comments. Let what if this let is actually a keyword? Let is actually called as a keyword or reserved word to declare a variable. Okay, so keyword to declare a variable. Declare a variable. Next, what is that a? A, B, whatever you're writing, that is called a variable name or a, is called reference variable. It's called variable name or reference variable. Next, the is equal to is called as actually the assignment operator. Next, the 10, the 10 is called as this. I'm writing about the first line, okay. Uh, 10 is actually called as the value or data there are different different type of values you can assign uh, we'll, we'll see and semicolon this called as end of the statement end of the statement so these many things uh, let is actually keyword to declare a variable any variable you want to declare in a java c from es6 version you must have to use let one more also there that's called constants uh, that we'll see in future okay uh, a a is a variable name or reference variable equal to is called assignment operator 10 is a value end of the statement every statement you must have to write semicolon to end of the line so uh, instruction ends okay fine so what happens if you write this line see in this line i'm doing a is a reference variable and 10 is a value i am assigning this 10 value to a variable it means uh, if you want to really understand um let's take a movie file okay so a movie file dot mp4 file is there so that mp4 file i want to store in my d drive so in d drive you have stored the movie file it means the exact movie file is 10 where you stored with the name is uh, some name dot mp4 and where you stored in d drive actually same like this where you have where you are storing this a is in the browser not in the d drive in a browser and what is this a your movie file name and what is this one actual movie file okay same like that we can't store movie files in program we have to store some numbers strings uh, boolean values uh, objects arrays and those type of formats so i'm storing 10 as a value for the variable a so this is actually called variable declaration i declare three variables and i print it um fine next uh, Observe closely this line console.log of sum. What is the sum value is a plus b. So 10 plus 20 is sum. I got it. Uh, I don't want to display just a 30. I want to print a the sum of a comma b is 30. I want to display like that. What I do is I write a string uh, same like previous. We write some statements now same like that. So the sum of a comma b is sum i save it now check what happened the sum of a comma b is sum i don't want to display sum i want to display 30 it means whatever you write in quotes that is called static string if you want to write something dynamic you can write like this plus sum okay so the sum is actually the dynamic value and the statement is a static so we are just appending a static value with a dynamic value the both together we are displaying on a console up to here is static plus dynamic so what happened sum of a comma b is 30 you can write a colon is 30 fine next uh, i don't want to change anything i just change only a value to 10 now see the sum of a comma b is 120 so only this value got changed because that is displayed as a dynamic and this is not changed because it is static okay i make it is 200 what happened you get 300 like that uh one more thing sir i don't want to display a and b i want to display a its value and b's value i want to display uh what you can do is the sum of is a static a is dynamic comma static b dynamic e is static and 30 dynamic so up to here is static 
plus a plus coat again plus b it looks a little weird but it's it's like that only fine so see sum of is static a value substitute b value substitute sum substitute so what happened sum of 10 comma you can write a space here sum of 10 comma 20 is that you can display in a this way uh, fine looks good uh, but i can say whatever you write till now is es5 syntax okay so this plus symbol is not actually same as this one it is to perform addition this is to perform a, a concatenation up and together okay it's, it's a difference uh, we'll see in future um, now yeah uh, so instead of writing this much complex line like this from es6 onwards we have a shortcut notation what is that is from es6 because we are learning es6 right from es6 there is a concept called template string or template uh, template uh, literal what if this is there is a new operator given from java es6 is backtick like this uh, i think it's 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 not uh, actually a single code okay so this is exactly called as backtick okay and this is uh, a key before 1 2 3 4 you in your keyboard you have 1 2 3 4 before the one you have a uh, this uh, tilde symbol below the tilde symbol you have a cross liner that's called backtick okay using backtick you can shorten this line so same line i want to write in a es6 format what you do is see console dot log of not single code this is single code okay i'm writing a backtick okay slight cross it is from es6 so i write the sum of and here you write plus a plus if you're writing uh backtick you don't need to write plus a plus you can write a dollar open close a so anything you want to write dynamic you can write like this dollar open close the variable name comma static and dynamic is b and then is colon and dynamic value again dollar sum like this so it is quite short in line than this and this is from a year six year six now save it go check you get exactly the same answer from line number 15 this line so we are not going to write this from going forward we're going to write mixed with dynamic and static values we're going to use this template literal or template uh, string or practic operator you can use it okay fine uh, this is about variable declarations but one more thing there are some rules in declaring there are some rules in declaring variables okay so what are the rules in declaring variables is we're gonna see in the next video thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you mm -hmm.